Imagine a pill-sized capsule inside your body which can help you fight diseases for years to come and even notify or call the emergency services in case there's a critical issue. Is this the future of medicine that we're talking about? In today's episode of It's Different in Future or IDIF as we'd like to call it, let's talk about the future of medicine. Right now, we have microcomputers which are in our cell phones, which are much more powerful than the computers just a few years back. With nanosensors, which are 10,000 times smaller than microcomputers, can be embedded in our body, which will monitor our vitals, which will also monitor our day-to-day -day habits, will send the information back to our handheld devices, even send it to our doctors, and in case of an emergency, even call the medical services. Next is virtual reality with respect to human surgeries. Now, we have already progressed a lot and quite rapidly where virtual reality is concerned. Virtual reality is already available to doctors because of which they're able to explore human body virtually. Imagine a scenario where there's a person who has to undergo a brain surgery and this doctor has a 3D map to his brain. This doctor can dive down inside his brain virtually, understand the area which is in question and also determine a course of action for helping this surgery without even having the first incision. This is how it will revolutionize how surgeries happen in the future. I can take bio readings and help healthcare providers assess their health and deliver treatments. We currently have machines or robots that will help or assist people in medical need. Especially people who are not able to walk upstairs, they have these chairs which act as escalators for them. There are also chairs which are designed to help a person get up from bed. Now, these are not really smart, but AI-based machines will not just assist or help, they will provide immediate response based on logic. Nanorobots can be introduced into human body to repair it from the inside. For instance, if you have an internal bleeding or a blockage, this can be solved with the help of nanorobots even without undergoing an operation. Currently, in the field of neuroscience, we are able to make some advances where we are able to control some objects with our brain signals. But in the future, with an embedded chip in our head, we'll be able to control every appliance in the house. This technology will not just help people who have lost their limbs or have spinal cord injury, but it will also help elderly with respect to getting things done and if there's an exoskeleton or a motorized exoskeleton that can be provided these people can move around unassisted. Currently, we are able to print small parts of human body like the nose and the ears. But in the future, we'll be able to 3D print complete organs, limbs, and perhaps even maybe the whole body. Now, this reminds me of a movie which I'd watched back in 2005 called The Island. And in this movie, buyers could purchase clones of themselves from a company. Now, this company would keep the clones in isolation. And every time the buyer would need an organ, these organs were then harvested from these clones. Do you see this as a future? You know, this can't really be possible is because there are already laws being put into place against cloning and so that such future is not something that we grow up to. Scientists have already cryo-frozen animals and brought them back to life months later. And I'm pretty sure human trials were done too in Area 51, but I don't want to get there. Imagine a scenario where there is a person who's got third degree burns all over their body. We can place this person in this capsule with fluids in it. This fluid will not only heal the person completely, but speed up the process of healing. Might even help him grow limbs completely in the matter of hours or days. Now, this technology has been showcased in many sci-fi films and many of the technologies that we currently see were also showcased in sci-fi films decades before they were invented. So maybe this is something that is just possible. I've kept this one for the last because this is my favorite, brain transplant. Now, scientists currently have been able to transplant brain from one human being to the other, but these were dead human beings. In the future, we'll be able to transplant brain from a live human being to another live human being. Imagine there's a person who's had spinal cord injury and is not able to move his limbs. And there's another patient who's brain dead. So you can transplant a proper working brain to the other person. What if we're able to transfer our consciousness or our memories to a drive and then plug into a robotic body or basically become a cybernetic organism? Is this what the future of human beings looks like? Or will scientists finally be able to decode our DNA and take out that code which is responsible for aging us? Will that lead us to have an immortal life by stopping our aging? We don't know. Maybe they've already discovered this and it's only available to the filthy rich people. We don't know, but future of medicine is surely quite promising and let's look at it positively. This is Aurelius from Mashable India signing off.